Let's play a game, shall we? Welcome back to Pokemon Uranium, a fan game that was made based on the beloved franchise. I am back, and my creatures are actually healed this time. Check it. All healed. That doesn't mean they're any stronger, but hey, at least they're healed, so I could actually stand my own against someone. Maybe I'll re-challenge that guy. Unfortunately, some of my progress was lost, so these people have not been challenged yet, quite quote unquote. So yeah. They might re-challenge me. Because I lost I forgot to save for some I guess I forgot to save. So I lost a little bit of progress, not too much. I'm back here, aren't I? Alright, let me just try to get through this. Ooh, s'more. Why is it called s'more? That's just weird. Why would a bug be called s'more? Seriously. I'm not the only one who thinks that that's kind of weird, right? Ooh, that is a perfect... Okay, that's obviously a bug. But, ooh, perfect. Oh, right. Yeah, I gained a little bit of health, but hopefully not too much that I can't catch it. Use. Come on, catch it. Catch the it. Give me that third click, baby. Yes. S'more was caught. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. If a s'more approaches your picnic, it's not trying to steal your food, it just wants attention. Still, some people are afraid of them. Okay. As long as it's not trying to steal my sandwich. Sandwich important or heavy? You tried to steal my sandwich, you, you get squashed like bug. Literally! <laughs> it contains snatch. Hooray! I can teach my creatures how to be thieves. I can't wait to re to rebuild Team Rocket. I'm gonna be the new Giovanni. I shall start Team Rocket. Be the new Pokemon Mafia. That was a low bro. That was a low blow, man. That was a low bro blow. You don't let me escape. I will kill you. Okay. You heard. You, you saw what happened. If this monkey wants to die so badly, who am I to stop it? Who am I to get in the way of its wishes? You got a death wish, don't you? That was stupid. I took half your health away in one attack, and you're gonna waste your move on lowering my defense? You're not gonna be around long enough for that to matter, little thing. But you did manage to knock out my creature in a single hit, which is very rude of you. Okay, I think that's the guy who challenged me the last time. Ah, I can get around that guy. No problem. I know it seems like I should challenge them, but eh, I just want to get, I just want to move on. I want to actually move on to the next town before I go back and start challenging people. Oh, what's this? I know I'm a camper, but it's so good when you get to town, when we get to town after so many battles. Oh, I know the feeling. Barol is lovely. I don't know you, but I'm sure you will agree with me. Okay, whatever you say. Whatever you say, lady. Barol Town. Huh. That sounds familiar. It's like a tranquil version of Cerulean City, I think. Yeah. It's a, it's a nice little remix there. <clears throat> I think I can see why it didn't trip... YouTube's automatic flagging system. I think this is all remixed. I don't think it's act it's the actual music. It's all remixed. It may have the same tones, but it's completely different in instrumentation and even somewhat in like, speed and stuff. All right. Now that I've reached a town, I can totally go back there and challenge some of them. You know, just have to get myself grounded first. And since that guy had a water had water types, I should probably pick something that's a little stronger against it. Wow, I don't have much, do I? Especially not much in the actual strength department. I need to buff up my creatures, don't I? Probably, it would probably help, wouldn't it? Yes, it's a real job and I get paid for it. Of course, it can get kind of boring sometimes. What? 
Are you just the greeter? Are you the town greeter who greets people from the outside or do you actually fight? Okay, what kind of creatures do you have? Actually, I'm gonna go with my strongest type. My strongest creature. Maybe that's not such a good idea. Maybe I should buff up my weaker creatures, but can I? Can they actually handle it at this point? What a lovely place for battling. Well, I'll find out. I can always switch out. Picnic Picnicker Sophie would like to battle. For some reason, I thought he looked like a ranger. Oh well. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is a mismatch of epic proportions. So, you know what that means? Bait and switch. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you expect Mankey? Crazy Diamond Dog! Let's make this Greto. Greto da se. I think that's how he says it. Great, Greto da se. Rock Smash! I will break your crap. I will wreck your crap. You. <laughs> What's that gonna do, huh? I'm resistant. I got a head made of rock. What do you think you're gonna do with that puny little beak? That puny non-existent beak. You don't even have a beak. What are you pegging me with your nose? No wonder it's so pathetically weak. Okay. Failing. Right, I think that's the cat. Well, at least I'll have the type advantage this time. And not just in one aspect. I mean, that would have been neutral versus super effective. So, not very good. Oh, okay. I attack first. That's cool. What the? Did the other Pokemon not attack? Cute charm. Forever fell in love. Wow. Yeesh. This is starting to get weird. This is starting to become like the. the starting to remind me of that moment with Forever from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm not going to explain it for those of you who didn't see it. You'll just have to. If you haven't seen it already, then you probably. I'm not going to tell you. Okay, ranked with sharp claws or sides for two to five times. Let's see. It would take at least three to overpower the scratch. That doesn't seem very... You know what, forget it. I'll just go over focus energy. I never use that anyway. Oten. Forgot. Is that another bird? Yeah, I think it's another bird. It's a bird, mate. Yeah, it's that. Or it's that flying creature anyway. I don't know if you call it a bird. It's got bird wings. <laughs> Looks like a furry creature, but with wings. It's kind of weird. It's like a gerbil with wings. Doesn't make any sense. But then again, these are Pokemon. They're not supposed to make any sense. I'm, I'm fighting with a sentient rock that has a metal head. That has a metal helmet for a head. That has some kind of weird coil on the top of it. Who am I to talk about what's plausible? You know, who am I to judge, right? It's a fantasy world, after all. They're not supposed to make logical sense. Hence Mew. Looking like a cat, em a cat embryo. Well, my Pokemon are still lovely. Well, you're taking defeat well. Burlow is awesome. Everything else sucks. Ah! I think that's... I don't know. I mean, my, my, my hometown is pretty good. We just pick some berries. Because for some reason, when you harvest berries, it destroys the entire tree. There are berries physically on that bush. Instead of just picking the berries off the bush, this dense trainer freaking... <coughs> he steals the whole plant. That's just, just weird. I can't be the only one who thinks that, right? already -o. Recover from paralysis. Recover from poison. Recover from burn. Well, gonna need a lot of Ross berries then. Oh! Yeah, these one. That one's probably the best. You know, at least early on. It recovers 10 HP. Oh, wait, no, 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 don't fertilize it. 
plant the berries, it, it's fertile enough to survive on its own. The gr I think the ground is plenty fertile enough. But if not, I'll take care of that. Wink, wink. I'm kidding. I'm kidding! Don't take everything so seriously, man! Forever was given the berry. You get a berry, and you get a berry! Everyone gets a berry! Or at least the ones I actually care about. I mean... The ones that I have room for. Sea Diamond was given the orange berry to hold. Unfortunately, I think I only have one more, yep. So, sorry Stone Ocean and Bug Eaton. You're gonna have to be left out of this one. Hey, gotta ration supplies. Besides, let's face it, odds are you two aren't even gonna see battle. Dur, 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 dur. How did you get in my way? I was training, huh? <coughs> you got in my way, sir. You walked up to me. You, you physically walked up to me and accused me of getting in your way. Don't you think that's kind of stupid, mate? Oh, how dare you interrupt me? Walk. He walked straight up to me. What, were you focusing on the tree that was in front of you? That's a low blow, sir. That's a very low blow. I really don't appreciate that, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna set your monkey on fire. How about that? I mean, you want you, you guys like double entendres, huh? How about we just set the monkey on fire? How about that? This monkey is on fire! Another makey? What are you, a one-hit wonder? I'm going to burn you alive. Do you really think focus energy is going to do you a bit of good if you're fainted? What good is being having a higher... Oh. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Nice. That berry came in handy. It's already... It's already, uh... Achieving for itself. I can't say it's paying for itself because I found it in the ground Oh nice He can learn mud slap. That's pretty cool. Like a slap in the face with mud Just kick the mud and you slap someone right in the face with it I uh, just imagine if they if they somehow manipulate the the, the freaking mud like earthbender style And then it forms a hand and just slaps them in the face That'd be hilarious. You're welcome for inserting that imagery into your head. I don't stand a chance. You, sir, are almost certainly going to regret this. But whatever. I should be working on a cruise ship. Well, if you actually worked on one. Are you gonna take your bitterness out on me, pal? God, is that part bug? Eh. Low kick. Yeah, it's a bug. I forgot. I completely forgot. I think it's also not very effective against me. Special attack harsh sleep. Well, it fell. But that... All my attacks are physical anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Poison. You jerk. Well, good thing I wasn't super effective. I thought poison was super effective against fighting types. I guess I was wrong. Wow. Really? Good thing I got a berry. I'm gonna scratch your eyes out for that. You're gonna use that same move twice again? It's not very... What, did it score a critical? Or what? That's a little ridiculous, don't you think? Oh crap. Oh crap. Dang it! I was afraid that would happen. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Fine, I guess Holly will get some EXP. It'd be great if Holly were to level up. Probably not, but hey, I can dream. Let me dream. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. 
Dang it, Bobby! What did I tell you, Bobby? Not quite. A little bit. Just barely missed the mark. I don't even know what low tad is, but I'm gonna I'm gonna set it on fire or whatever it is. Hopefully it's not a water type. That would suck if it was another water type. Oh, for once. For once, I hope he's not using the same types over and over. Actually, that should be at least part grass. So at least it's even. Even if you do, you... Okay, never mind. I was about to say, even if you did use bubble, I'd win, but no. Nope. It was a one-hit kill. That sucks. Well, I better... I better hope this works fast. Crap. Oh, I'm doomed. I'm so doomed. Huh. Wow. That's... that's shocking. Please say that I'm still faster. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble! Wow. Really? I guess I can't blame it on me being... on my creatures being weak the last time. He's just railroading me. Wow, really? You suck. You really suck, you know that? Wow, Holly actually won. Oh, really? You got another one? Come on, man. Come on, man. We got a brick in my heart, huh? Fine, right, let's see if I can at least poison it. Freaking toad. It doesn't affect it. Is that just because it missed or because it, it there's a type disparity there? I don't get it. What type is that? I'm pretty sure water isn't immune to poison. Or does it have some kind of special ability that I don't know about? At least it doesn't make those annoying Pokemon beeps. Granted the Granted the latest ones, they, they stop it after the first few beeps. They go doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, and then it stops. So thank heavens for small favors, right? It's not very effective. So what isn't very, very effective? Steel. It's a steel type, isn't it? I should have expected as much. It's a water steel type? Well, that's that's very unfortunate. Dang it. Wait, no it's not. I did a standard amount of damage. Well, if I didn't think my creature was going to pass out in this very turn, I would have thought this string would actually do something. Wow, I'm... I've reached the bottom of the barrel here. Well, not the bottom of the barrel per se. I mean, she gained a level, but... It's still not going to be enough. That's why. And the, the answer why should be obvious. Seriously? Seriously? Jotaro blacked out. Jotaro scurried to the Pokemon Center. Yeah, I know. Well, at least I made it to this town first. That's why I took the time to do that. Yeah, he railroaded me hard. Maybe I should... Beef up my weaker creatures. Hang tight. All right, I'm back. I trained up my creatures a little bit. Also, I caught a low tad and decided to replace the forever with it because grass and water seems like it would be more helpful to me right now than purely fighting, especially since Crazy Diamond already has fighting. I actually thought about what to name him. I mean, I should probably go to the nickname Raider at some point, but for now I'll just leave it low tad. I was thinking I'll change it to Caesar, because it's part grass and Caesar salad, and it's part water and knows bubble. And what did what was Caesar good at? Hamon bubbles. It's perfect. 
Anyway, now that I have something that is part grass, perhaps now that I, now I can beat his water creatures, even though he also has one of these, maybe I'll just use Magician's Red on his. Who knows? Well, I'll find out. Hopefully I actually beat, actually win this time. The sailor has become my new rival, my arch rival, who so for some reason keeps beating me. Man. My, the sailor is far more of an effective rival than my actual rival. I should be working on a cruise ship. Instead, I'm going to beat, I'm going to beat the crap out of a little kid to make myself feel big. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just messing around. Okay. Absorb. I'm going to absorb your powers. Struggle bug. Oh, crap. Forgot that was super effective. Well, I'm screwed already. Great. Let's get this train wreck over with, I guess. It's part bug, so at least Ember should be neutral. Oh, it's, it's just straight up super effective. Good to know. Unfortunately, her attack is also super effective. So that that's a deadlock that I'd rather not be in. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. No, you're my best hope against this. If I if you can't win, I am finished. Which means I'm finished. That's basically what that means. Yep, I'm finished. This was over before it even began. Why did I ever think I stood a chance? Well, maybe I can at least level up Stone Ocean before I black out. That would be great. Bubble. Bubble, bubble, toy and trouble. Come on. Lower its speed so I can attack first. I don't care. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna slam my head right into your face. Crap. Crap! Can I at least level up one of my creatures before you completely wreck me? Can I level up Holly? That would be so amazing if she went up to level 10 and learned an electric move. I'm just saying. Of course. Of course not. But I think that would be a possibility. Because I'm not very smart, am I? What type is it? What's its other type? I don't understand. If, if its first type is water, what's its second type? You're seriously using pound? Is that all you got? Do you not have any water moves? Okay, whatever it is, it's, it's very defensive against fighting types. What about normal types? Wait, I think we already established that it's neutral against normal types, so I can actually win this! Yeah, I can win this! It may have resulted in my in some of my strongest creature, well, my strongest creature, may have resulted in him passing out, as well as some others, but at least I'll win in the end. I'll take it. Come on, Sailor, you're a normal, you're a normal encounter. You should not have creatures this strong. My water Pokemon. What am I doing here? I'd like to, I'd like to know that too. At least I beat you. I have defeated my rival. Nice. Nice. And he didn't even want to be a trainer. He just wanted to be on a cruise ship. I beat... I, if, I had trouble with someone who didn't even want to be a trainer. <coughs> or maybe he did want to be a trainer. Maybe he just wanted to be a trainer on the cruise ship. I don't know. But that was pretty tough. Man. Holy crap. Hot tamale. It's crazy. That was crazy! Yeesh, if I'm having that much trouble with a normal encounter, how much would I struggle against the gym leader here? Probably a lot, considering my strongest hasn't really gained all that much levels since the last one. 
Um, okay, there we go. Yeah, my, my weakest is still weaker than... Well, well, an outsider. Welcome to Burlo, a real town. This here is an old mining town, and the biggest, best and biggest mine is down in the, in the local gym. Cool. The Burl, Burl gym. So, ground types, because I might just have the advantage there. If I use the creature that I just caught, I should probably sweep my way through that. Considering grass and water are both super effective against the ground. Howdy, sport! If you're here to face the gym leader, you'd better be prepared. Durbin here uses a variety of Pokemon which you find in caves. Be ready to face rock, ground, and poison types if you got a water or fighting type. It's sure to come in handy for this battle. Here, take this. Obtain fresh water. Yeah, just pour water on them. Good luck out there. I'm rooting for you. Thanks, buddy. Really appreciate it. Okay, the poison is gonna throw me off, so. So the unfortunate part. Oh well. Let's take chances and make mistakes. Or something. I strengthen myself by crushing boulders with my fists! Yeah! Yeah? Well, I crush boulders with my nose. So what do you think of that, big guy? Also, if you're if you're talking about how tough you are, how come you sent out a poison type? Shouldn't you be sending out a rock type? I mean, did you talk about rocks? I forget it. I'm not even gonna try to make sense out of this. Okay, good. It's not very effective. But of course you managed to poison me anyway. You suck. You really, really suck. Whatever, tackle me, I don't really care. I'll just burn you to the ground. No biggie. Wow, yeah. I'm definitely not gonna last against this gym leader unless I train a lot. Because this is my strongest. It's weaker than one of the regular trainers. That is bad. That is very bad. Look at that. I'm probably just gonna barely win this level, this battle by the skin of my teeth if I assuming I actually win <coughs> Yeesh. I'm way too weak I'm way too weak oh luckily for me they're poison wait I should have just used that I should have just used him from the get-go I just realized something it's rock if it's metal poison is worthless yeah metal claw Nice. It's a steel move. The target is raked with steel claws. It may also raise the user's attack stat. Nice. Okay, which one do I want to replace that with? Headbutt? Nah, I don't, I don't want to get rid of that. I don't want to get rid of any of these. Because Harden could have come in handy. It could make me a, like a defensive shell that would be impossible to break through, but I kind of want to use... Yeah, forget it. I'll, I'll replace that. The steel is a good, good one to use. So to me. Is that another? Yep, it's another one of the same thing. Luckily, I have a creature that's super effective against poison. <laughs> You're gonna hate me right now because the tides just turned to my favor. Oh, right, metal isn't super effective. It's just resistant to poison. Oh well, I'll still claw your eyes out. Claw that stupid tail off. And your dragon wings. Shit, dragon wannabe. You're not a dragon. You're not a dragon type, so why do you have dragon wings? You wannabe. Oh, because you're a bat. Okay, fair enough. Still. You make funny anyway. Why, why do you have a fox tail then? That doesn't make any sense. We got smashed. Hey, bruh. We want to get smashed? If you want to solve the puzzle in this gym, you'll have to use an ex excavation too. Okay. What the? It looks like there's a place to put an item here. Maybe a gym of some kind? So, I gotta dig up a gym. I get it. I get what he's talking about. I gotta literally excavate something. <coughs> Unfortunately, that was also a wake up call. My creatures are still too weak. I don't know if maybe I should just. 
beef them up or what? I mean, I do have the type advantage with two of my creatures. I can just switch out whenever there's a poison type. Yeah, I'll do it for now. <laughs> Actually, that would be a good way to beef them up. Give myself a type advantage against the stronger creatures because then it'll gain XP really, EXP really fast. Oh, whoops. Did I accidentally... Did I accidentally stop the recording? Did I press the minus button? I don't know why I did. Why did I press the minus button? I don't know why I would. Yeah, forget it. I'm not even gonna question it. I'm just gonna keep going. Smash it. I think I know what I gotta do. I gotta break these rocks until I find a gem, right? I bet you that's what you gotta do. Smash it! Smash it to pieces! Break it! Break it in half! Well, that takes care of all these. Well. It's probably gonna be on the right, isn't it? I bet you have to smash all of them, don't you? Oh. It's a bright gym. So it was on the first floor. Cool. That's handy. Though I'm definitely not gonna challenge the gym leader like this. I'm gonna get my... I'm gonna get creamed if I do that. Let's see if I can at least beat this guy. I've been digging tunnels for years. What have you accomplished? Well, I'm about to beat you. How's that for one? Okay, cool. You're... That's cool. Oh. Okay. Okay. I get you. Well, but mine... But you know what? I got something too. I got something to say to that. I'm dead. That's what I gotta say to that. Well, unfortunately for you, yours doesn't know a fighting move like mine does. I bet you wish you had Rock Smash. Oh, right, you have a steel move. But it didn't do all that much. And fighting is four times as effective on barrels. Barrels. I don't know how you pronounce that. It's funny, because it is four times effective against itself. What are you gonna do with that, huh? Let's just admit that mine is better. Defense fell. This next one is definitely gonna be a knockout. I'm gonna finish this in one shot. Just you watch. That's what I thought. I see a light at the end of the tunnel. What are you, dying? Digging a tunnel takes careful planning or else you risk a cave-in. Well, yeah, that's why you put in support beams. So it doesn't cave in. Also, it might help to have a good understanding of where holes might be. Nah, I don't think that would cause a cave-in. You gotta have support beams, man. Otherwise, it won't support itself. Hope to see you again. We hope your creatures get critically injured and you have to come see us again. Aren't we nice? Aren't we just nice people? I'm kidding. That's an old joke that people make all the time. That Nurse Joy is hoping your Pokemon become critically injured. I know I don't have a chance in... Heck. But why not? Hey, trainer, I'm sure you know this by now, but I'm Dar... Dav... Davern! Gym leader of Burl Town. I raise Pokemon that are found in caves. Most people find caves scary, but ever since I was a kid, they always felt like home. That's why I dug out this abandoned mine and converted it into a gym. My Pokemon are toughened through hard work and battle. Can you stand up to our strength? Show me that you're not afraid. Well, I'm pretty sure you're gonna kick the crap out of me, so... I've got nothing to be afraid of. I already accept death. Oh yeah, he's gonna kick the crap out of me. Look at that. Look at that! Frick. Bulldoze. Yeah, like always. Yeesh. Well. Of course the speed fell too. 
Give me some of that energy back. And then again, it takes 11 each turn, and I only gain three back, so that's eight. That's eight that it costs me each turn. So I'm not gonna last very long. Yeah, I may be lucky to beat one of them. Unless the rest of them are poison slash rock types and they don't really know any ground moves. Then I can just sweep through them with my other creature. And for whose name I forgot, Bar Burial? Or as I like to call it, I think it's called Crazy. I think it's the one I nicknamed Crazy Diamond. Yeah. Crazy Diamond Doll. Energy. Energy! Yeah, it didn't matter because it does exactly 8 damage. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully this will work. I doubt it, but, you know. Mud slap. Of course. Of course you would. I knew you would do that. Wow. Huh. You held in there. I'm impressed. You actually survived a turn. That's more than I expected. Well done, Magician's Red. Too bad that move never seems to miss, ever. Which is very, very unfortunate. Well, crud. This isn't gonna be good. Oh yeah, I forgot, Holly isn't too bad. Too bad there's a five level difference, so uh, that might be bad. Use the potion, of course you did. Of course you freaking did. You gotta reverse all the damage I did. Well, at least tackle does a decent amount of damage. Oh, nice. That one mud slap is actually having an effect on you. Sweet, I might actually have a ghost of a chip. You're using another potion. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Cut that out, man. I'm grateful that Tackle was doing a decent amount. Unfortunately, speed has also been reduced, so. Yep. That's what I was afraid of. Now it's creatures attacking first. Dang it. Dang it. Well, this this sucks. Okay, actually, so this is a, it's a ground move, so it's not gonna do anything against this. But then again, poison is also immune, you know, immunized. Oh yeah, also it has scratch, right? So that takes care of that. He should gain a lot of EXP. What's Modril? I hope it's something that Crazy Diamond can overcome. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble. Let's go, Crazy Diamond. Let's go, Diamond. Let's go. Let's go, Diamond. Let's go. Is that a poison type? I can't really tell. I'll try Mud Slap. Did you just use Mud Slap? Are you serious? Are you even serious right now? It, my, my mud slap missed. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm done. Well, I put in a good run, didn't I? At least I thought I kind of did. Well, I've got no options. I can't beat it. I can't, can't win. There's no way. There's no chance in heck that I'm going to win now. Metal Claw. Of course, you've got an effective move. Whoop, I'm dead. I'm as good as finished, aren't I? Go, Stone Ocean. I'm sure you'll do what everyone else failed. Yep, metal. Because metal is super effective against fairies. Wait, actually, it's not a bug type. Oh, wait, that's actually super effective. Okay. Cool. Somehow that missed. It'd be great if I could at least level up Stone Ocean before I lose. That's probably not gonna happen though. It'd be great. I'm just surprised Stone Ocean lasted this long, to be honest. What does that even matter? I'm finished. I've got no more creatures. Why do you need any more money? 
You don't need any more money. You're a gym leader. Fine. You know, I find it funny how gambling was removed, how the gambling machines were removed from Pokemon because they, they encouraged gambling, and yet they're gambling on the freaking battles because the the loser has to give up their money. I'm betting, I'm guessing that they bet money on these matches. So there's no other way you can explain that. They bet money on the match. The loser has to give up their money. So yeah, oh yeah, gambling is bad. Unless it, you're gambling on Pokemon, in which case it becomes okay. Right. Anyway, clearly my creatures are in need of a beef up, so hang tight again. Okay, now those two Pokemon that I plan on using to win are up to level 14, and one of them did actually evolve, so there you go, you got Lombre, and of course, Crazy Diamond, which I'm still going to rename him to Caesar, but for now, he's his default name, you know how that goes, I'm going to try to fight the gym leader, if it fails, I'll probably just beef up my creatures on my own time, you know, between videos, I mean, why not? But, either way, I will beat that gym leader eventually, even if it takes a million and a half times to do it. Plus one. Alright. What What have you? Yeah, blah blah, we went through this before. Come on. My creature evolved. I think it can handle you. At least now it can. I love that pencil mustache on him. But of course, the sprite is, isn't detailed enough to have that. It says little details. Bubble. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. It's not very effective. Bro, it's not very effective. <laughs> Although, it did lower my speed, so I'll give you that. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, look at that. Uh, that's not gonna help you, dude. In fact, it didn't even restore all of its HP, which means your Grozard's going bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, this is good. Oh, it's too good. Oh, this is just too good. I'm assuming that's also a ground type. Pursuit. Jerk. Take that, you jerk. Again. Again with the potions! Dude, if you're gonna use a potion, use a super potion. That could actually restore enough to save it. Look at this. Wait a minute. Dural. Is it similar to this? I hope it is. Because that would mean I have the advantage. Crazy Diamond up! Ah, is that what it evolves into? Well, I guess I'm gonna look forward to, don't I? Oh yeah, you've got that. But I, but I've got this. It's quadruple the effectiveness. You don't stand a chance. Well, I mean, you do stand a chance. I don't wanna, I don't wanna boost my ego too much. Well, your defense is gonna get lowered, so take that. Let me guess, you're gonna use another potion, right? Even though the fact that your creature's defense is dropping. Okay. Well, I'll give you credit. Crap. I'll give you a credit for crap. Dang it. Oh, this is gonna be bad, ain't it? I gotta finish it. Here and now. Headbutt. Dang it, its speed is too fast. It's too freaking fast. It's storming me. I don't know what to do. Come on. The foe's weak. Get him. Even though... Oh, wait. It's part metal. This is a bad idea. Yep. Yep. Yep, a Rooney. It was a bad idea. Frick. Frick. 
Ah, freaky, 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 freaky. Well, at least you're not weak against any of anything it has. Even though it's gonna be super resistant to that. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot, because steel. Right. How could I forget about that? What in the heck? Okay, so that's the... I guess that's the evolved form of that poison monster. Okay, I can still do this. This isn't over yet. I know. I was actually afraid it would be. Well, good thing it lost its flying type. That gives me the advantage now. Its accuracy is gonna drop each turn. And hopefully, if I'm lucky, that'll keep it from even being able to damage me. Paralyzed. Well, I'm not paralyzed, but I seem to be struck by you. I wanna make you move. That's not very effect. That's not very effective. It's not very effective. I can't get that to fit. It's not very effective. Flame body. Flame on, brother. Also, your accuracy is still getting lost, so hopefully. Well, this is, I'm pretty sure this is his last Pokemon. So, I can still do this. Yeah, you are burned, baby. Burn, baby, burn. Okay, good. You're hanging in there. Good job, Magician's Red. I'm so proud of you. Okay, you know what? You like using potions so much. I think I'm gonna do what you do. I'm gonna do one, too. Let's see how you like it. There we go. And guess what? You just got burned. See ya! Nice. That's how you do it. That was a well-earned victory. You're more than, than deserving of the bright gym badge. Jotaro got 1,600 yen for winning. Well fought, kid. Consider me impressed. Now, if you could hand over that gem you found earlier, click. And ta-da, here's your badge. Jotaro received the bright gym badge. Oh, okay, that's cool. It, it clicked right into the empty badge. I hope you'll look at the badge and remember all the hard work it took to earn it. Also, please accept this TM. Obtain TM31. It contained Brick Break. I know what that does. It breaks through barriers. Break, brick Break is a fighting type move that I use to help excavate, excavate tunnels. Not only is it powerful, but it can shatter walls like reflected light screen. See that you make good use of it on your journey. Awesome, man. That's awesome, man. Hey, now, that was an excellent show. You really rocked this place. If you'll excuse the pun. Keep it up, kid, and you'll do great. Thank you, good sir. Well, at least I got to end it off with a victory. So, that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like the little pebbles that I just made after I broke his rocks in half. And I will see you next time. Now, go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out. Have a good one and have a nice and pleasant day.